Hello everybody and welcome to the first installment of the reviews where I will be reviewing different bugs and different bug products for you guys. Now today the kind people of Bug Frenzy have sent me through a whole ton of stuff to review for you guys. Um, so today we'll be covering some scorpions and some scorpion setups and even some peacock jumping spiders and peacock jumping spider setups as well. So I just want to say a big thank you to the people at Bug Frenzy for sending me all this amazing stuff. Without further ado, let's get on to the reviews. Okay, and welcome back to review number one. And today we're going to be looking at the Spider Hunting Scorpion Kit. Now, this kit is for spider hunting scorpions and other desert scorpions. Works perfectly fine for most desert scorpions. Alright, so in this kit you get four fake plants, uh, a nice layer of red desert sand as substrate, and a dish which is a plastic cap uh, with some scorer rocks. Now as you might be able to see here, I have filled up that dish with water so that um, the scorpion can have a drink if he feels thirsty. Now, the reason why we have the rocks in this enclosure is simply just so the scorpion doesn't drown especially with these spider hunting scorpions you know all scorpions are just known notoriously for accidentally drowning in water dishes and stuff so that's why we have that in here and I have a quick montage on how I set this enclosure up so let's roll that montage that montage, a quick montage actually. And now it is time to put our spider hunting scorpion in his new enclosure. Here is our spider hunting scorpion. They're quite a beautiful scorpion. These ones are actually my favorite ones. So let's try and hook him out of here to his new enclosure. Always remember to be gentle when putting invertebrates in their new enclosures, simply because they still can be quite fragile animals. So, uh, as the name suggests, this scorpion does hunt spiders, but I highly recommend against going out and getting spiders for it. It's, it's really not a good idea because spiders could have pesticides and all that sort of thing. So it's better just to buy either roaches or crickets or even mealworms if you really wanted to uh, from local pet store chains or even uh, Bug Frenzy themselves sell feeder, um, feeder roaches and feeder crickets, they sell starter colonies of that. So if you want to, hop onto their website www.bugfrenzy.com.au and go get yourselves one of these kits and one of these beautiful scorpions and also go get yourself some um, feeder, feeder roaches or feeder crickets or you know a colony of those guys. But yeah, I just highly recommend against going out and catching bugs from the wild to feed to them because you have no idea what diseases or pesticides you could bring in and they could kill your invertebrates and we do not want that to happen. So yeah, this is a wonderful setup. Uh, these scorpions are moderately easy to keep. So as long as you have all the right things, your scorpion should be fine. Okay, and so with saying that, let's move on 
to the second review.